Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to study about another force uh, sensor uh, which, is, which will be used for measurement of force or weight in this case. So we are going to discuss about cantilever beam for force measurement. So let's get started. Now before we go deep into uh, the cantilever beam for the measurement of force, we must first understand some basics of measurement of force. Now force and weight measurements are based on beam balance principle. Now the beam balance principle is used to compare known weights with unknown weights. So we all know force is a vector quantity. It means it has both magnitude and direction. Weight is the force with which our bodies are directed towards the center of the earth due to the gravitational force. So it has a magnitude as well as a direction. So the weight is actually one type of force. So with the help of cantilever beam we are going to measure the weights of unknown objects. And another thing uh, which has to be taken care of is that whenever we measure force or weight, one thing is necessary that the direction in which the force is applied and the direction in which the measurement system or the instrument with which the force is to be measured responds or deflects or undergoes deformation, they must be coincident or they must coincide with each other. Otherwise, the measurement process will go wrong. So these are some of the uh, basic things related to measurement of force. So now we can discuss the cantilever beam. Now cantilever beam is one of the widely used mechanical instruments which is used for measurement of weight or force. So the principle which is uh, utilized in the cantilever beam is that it converts the force or the weight into mechanical displacement. So by measuring the displacement, we can get a measure of the force applied. So the displacement and the applied force are related with each other with the help of with the, through a mathematical equation which we are going to discuss in uh, <coughs> uh, afterwards. But this is the main thing, force and the mechanical displacement they are interrelated with one another. Okay, so there, there are going to be some sort of a relationship between these two, the displacement and the applied force. That is the main operating principle of the cantilever beam. Now cantilever beam come in two configuration. In one configuration, uh, the beam is held at one end, stationary at one end, while the other end is free which undergoes deformation due to applied force and uh, in uh, the second configuration the beam is held fixed at both ends and the deformation takes place in the middle. So we are going to discuss uh, both these configurations. So the first configuration is the cantilever beam held at one end. So this here is the beam, Okay, it has a length L and thickness T and breadth B which is not uh, shown here because uh, it is a plan view, the top view, so you cannot see that, but it has a length L, breadth B and thickness T. It is held fixed or stationary at one end, while at the other end the force which is to be measured is applied. Because of the applied force, the beam, it undergoes deformation, it bends. Now it can bend up to a maximum value or a maximum displacement of y max. Now by measuring this mechanical displacement y, we can get a measure of the applied force. Okay? So we have this beam of a certain length L and thickness T and breadth B which is held fixed at one end while the force is applied at the other end. Because of the applied force, it undergoes displacement 
of value y in meters so by measuring this we can get a measure of the applied force with the help of a mathematical equation okay so this is the mathematical expression which relates the displacement y and the uh, the applied force and we also get uh, a relationship between the mechanical strain which is induced in the beam and the applied force so the displacement of the free end of the beam is given by 4 fl cube by e b t cube and the mechanical strain which is induced is given by 6 fl by e b t square now here of course f is the force which is applied in newtons l is the length of the beam b small b is the breadth of the beam and small t is the thickness of the beam whereas e is the young's modulus of elasticity and uh, of course uh, here also we have an extra information related to the mechanical strain which is induced in the beam so this is also related directly related with the applied force the mechanical displacement is directly proportional to the applied force the mechanical strain induced is also direction directly proportional to the applied force so you can note down these two equations the second configuration is both the cantilever beam ends are fixed at both sides and the force is applied in the middle as a result the middle portion undergoes deformation or bending here also it the beam has a length l thickness t and breadth b the middle portion the the the, the mechanical displacement is measured from the middle so there can be a maximum displacement of y max so by measuring this displacement this 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 displacement we can get a relationship between the applied force and displacement along with the mechanical strain which is induced so here the only thing which is different is that both the ends of the beam are held stationary with the help of a knife edge support or any other type of support and the force is applied in the middle and there is a deformation or bending of the beam and resulting in a certain mechanical displacement which is measured which is directly related to the applied force so the mathematical expression which relates the displacement y and the mechanical strain u e epsilon with uh, the the force is given by here y is equal to fl cube by 4 eb t cube and uh, the mechanical strain epsilon is equal to 3 fl by 2 e b t square and where the symbols represent the usual values f for force capital l for length uh, small b for breadth t is the thickness of the beam and uh, epsilon is for the mechanical strain which is induced so here we have uh, discussed the cantilever beam for the measurement of force or weight in this case so in both the cases we have uh, found out that in case of the cantilever beam at uh, one end and the cantilever beam which is held at both ends that there is a direct relationship between the displacement which is produced and the force which is applied and the mechanical strain which is induced in the beam and the applied force in both the cases the mechanical strain and displacement are directly proportional to the applied force so this can be uh, used to construct a graduated and calibrated scale so that we get an output in terms of uh, certain uh, force values in with, with which are directly related with either mechanical displacement or the strain which is produced so here we have discussed about cantilever beam for force measurement so in the upcoming days i'm going to post a lot of videos related to various types of sensors and transducers and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics and instrumentation engineering have a great day thank you